Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorena Gary and I post here on YouTube every Monday and Saturday. All right, you guys, so to get into today's video, what we are going to be talking about is if you should be licensed or not. Um, so it's kind of a controversial video. I know some people might take offense to it, but that is not what I am meaning to do whatsoever. So please, if you guys feel like I might be wrong, go ahead and comment down below and let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. I am going to be looking down at my notes for reference, but basically the first thing that I want to touch base on is how to become a nail tech. The reason being is because I know it might be confusing and if this is something that you kind of like want to get into but you guys just don't know which way to go in, which direction to kind of go in just because a lot of times um, you might be a first time nail tech in your family or a cosmetologist. So um, how to become licensed. Basically you go to the school of your choice. Start googling. You could google any school around you and basically it'll show you guys all the different schools and the options that you guys have. Um, that is exactly what I did. I ended up going to a school called Bridges Beauty College. Um, I know some people it's like a hit or miss to them but honestly this all the school is there for is to teach you the basics and to teach you how to pass your state board. That is the whole main reason for them is to teach you how to pass your state board. And um, you have an interview. So basically you go in, you talk to someone, they end up telling you kind of like what different things they have to offer. I know some schools, they offer estheticians, so you could just do skin. You could be a cosmetologist, which a cosmetologist covers all areas so if you want to do hair skin or nails so if you're somebody who's wanting to become or do makeup you you could do makeup you could do um, facials you could do nails hair hair color hair cuts hair styles for weddings um, eyelash extensions you could do it all <laughs> so if that is something that you guys are interested in and you know you want to be in the beauty community but you don't really know which way to go I highly suggest being a, a licensed cosmetologist because with me i kind of feel like i like to like kind of change up what i'm doing every so often and then the next thing for your interview you guys are they're gonna want you to fill out fafsa but if you guys are going just for the nail tech program and that is it i'm not quite sure if fafsa does cover it because i know the time when i was going to beauty school they actually the tech program they had to actually pay start doing working on their payments or paid in full or something like that before they actually did their their license um, so basically if you guys are able to ask them about FAFSA what FAFSA is is basically financial aid and if if you are low income which I was low income so thankfully um, a lot of my tuition was able to be covered but um, depending on your your parents income or if you are already older um, you might be able just to go off of your own income and yeah so hopefully maybe that will help you guys save some money and you'll get a start date so I know with cosmetology they their courses kind of kind of go in a carousel so basically what happens is either they teach like hair skin or nails and then you kind of just jump in at the soonest start date of the beginning of that section and on the floor basically what that is is you are able to take clients so they have paying customers that come in to the to the school and they will pay you to do a service on them and so if you do nails you would most likely be doing just pedicures and manicures and acrylics and whatnot um, but if you do hair you'll be doing perms hair colors and a whole bunch of different other things that they have on their menu okay and then basically when you start with cosmetology you have 1600 hours that you are required to do and I believe for a nail tech I think it's 300 hours I think it's 300 hours or 3,000 hours I'm or you know what no I, I think it's 300 hours that you have to that you have to cover and basically in that time I know with me because since I'm a licensed cosmetologist I'm able to speak on behalf of what I had to do and so you had X amount of um, hairstyles you had X amount of nail sets you had to do you had X amount of um, perms you had to do there's a lot of different things even if that perms I know that's not some like a lot of people's favorite but with perms like I don't know like there's gonna be some things that you don't like doing but it's like it's a requirement in the school that you're going to be having to do that 
and you do the hours once you are finally done with the amount of hours they have you clock in and out every single day and once you are finally done with those hours you graduate so technically you are done with school congratulations you graduated but you guys had to still go to state board and basically what state board is is everything that they taught you in beauty school or nail technician school all it is is it is a test that makes sure that you know exactly what you're doing and you are not going to be harming your client or you are not going to be transferring any bacteria from one client to the next um which i i personally speaking on behalf of myself i do feel like the cosmetology state board test i feel like it was very very stressful in the beginning but it was very easy i know some people if you do have problems taking tests they do actually have classes where you could go um i mine was in glendora and they kind of do an overview of the class and they show you exactly what you're going to be doing what they're going to be asking how you're going to perform it what you are going to be doing if you um there's so many different things that you guys do um and then they basically make sure that you do everything and you're making sure that you are doing it nice clean sanitary and safe um and so now you guys um I do want to go over price so this is gonna be the whole price section yeah you guys so how much is it so for me when I had went to beauty school I had paid or my tuition was 2500 so that was really really expensive if you guys think about it but because for some people that's a whole year of salary uh, basically the whole year of what they make and yeah at first when they first told me that price I was kind of a little shocked but um again that is for the cosmetology program so that is it covers all fields um and that's 2500 and are around that time it was 2500 prices have gone up but for a nail technician if you do want to become a nail tech it is three thousand dollars three thousand and seven hundred dollars so basically i feel like the class it is pretty good and i think you're only in the class for three to six months so that's super like the class is super super fast i remember i think it's more like six months i remember the girls that would come in i felt like they were always changing nail tech classrooms like it would be like the girls would be there then they would just be gone so i felt like me personally maybe it's because i'm a cosmetologist and i was there for so long like i think it was like a year in some months but in, it also depends on you. If you guys are always missing class and you're always not showing up to class, then you don't get to finish on the same amount of time as like somebody who comes to class every single day, you know, and does like the extra hours and stuff. Because I know in my beauty school, they actually had things where you could volunteer and you were able to go out to places like senior citizens homes and you guys were able to paint their nails, cut their hair and do a whole bunch of different things. Um, I don't know if all schools do that. I just know mine personally they did do that um, But you don't have to say yes to it. So if that's something that you are not interested Don't feel like you have to say yes to it It's just kind of like additional hours to kind of hurry up and get you out of school faster um, And you graduate your state. Oh Okay, and then sorry you guys I kind of lost place where I was at but so it is tremendously cheaper if you do want to become a nail technician it is not even it is way less than a fourth of it so honestly you guys if you already know that you guys just want to become a nail technician i highly recommend doing that but if you're indecisive like myself i recommend going with cosmetology because if you do get fafsa i actually only had to pay six grand back for my student loans i didn't have to pay that whole 2400 um back or 2500 and then if you are self-taught and you are somebody who wanting is wanting to kind of get a class and be like you know what let me go to like i see this nail tech on instagram always recommending her classes and whatnot i want to go to them and those relatively like they charge i believe 500 dollars for the class and they will teach you sanitization they will teach you how to do the nails how to get a bead of acrylic they'll teach you all of that stuff um, but I would definitely recommend 
kind of researching and making sure you like the work of the nail tech that you're going to that's something that i highly recommend if you love their work and you're like you know what like and you see like them posting other people going to the classes and their improvement and stuff okay okay and if you are completely self-taught, you don't want to take no classes, you don't want to say, spend any of your money on that, YouTube. Honestly, you guys, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> I mean, you guys are here now, but if you guys just need to learn um, what you guys... I would definitely recommend learning what you have to learn. Like the same things that a licensed nail tech would learn, I would recommend for you to learn. So if it's, I would recommend like learning sanitization. That is something that is very, 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 very important. Even if maybe you could kind of get your hands on somebody's um, old books from nail tech school, because they do have books that show you guys kind of like bacteria diseases and like a whole bunch of other stuff that could be transferable to you and your clients or your other clients if you are not being clean and sanitary um so if you guys do go on youtube make sure it is somebody that like you really look up to and they are putting out good things for you if that makes any sense but and another thing is making sure that what they're showing you applies to your state laws um so pros i want to go into the pros and cons now about being licensed um i don't want to go into the cons about being non-licensed because i am not non-licensed so i don't i feel like i can't really speak on that you know so if you guys are a non-licensed nail tech make sure to kind of do it this video i don't know if that's <laughs> what you would use for this video but make sure to kind of tag me in the video and so I could link it underneath my video so then people could kind of see what's the difference between license and non-license point of view. All right, you guys, I'm so sorry. My son, he ended up just waking up from a nap. But, um, so basically the pros about being a licensed nail tech is that you get discounts. I know Young Nails, they do really good discounts for their licensed nail techs. And I feel like instead of buying your stuff off of Amazon, you know it's the true product and getting it from them and you get it at a better price. Um, you get to claim taxes. And so this is kind of I have on my pro and con reason being is because usually at the end of the year, you pay back so much money in taxes, so much money. Because if you think about it, you're not paying taxes all year long. And so all those taxes from the whole entire year get piled onto the very very end okay and then the reason why it's a con as well is or the pro of paying taxes is that say if you ever wanted to buy a house you were able to do so if you are able to want to buy a car you can do so you know because you have proof of income and if you are not licensed you are not able to um claim any of the money that you make and nail shows you are able to go to nail shows and again usually at nail shows they have a ton some nail shows they do allow you to go in even if you're non-licensed because you could have guests come with you but um yeah so and then if you ever move locations it would be easier to rebuild your clientele so let's say you move states from one to another it would be easier for you to rebuild your your clientele doing it that way because you could start off in a salon and then end up going let's say like you start in one salon and then you build your clientele up and then it's easier that way because you'll be able to get walk-ins and whatnot and the confidence in what you learn so basically having the confidence knowing that you're not going to harm your client hurt your client or you know knowing that you're not going to transfer any bacteria or germs and don't get me wrong i don't want people like saying anything because I know that there is some unlicensed nail techs that are very, very clean. And then another thing is you are able to actually get, or you are actually able to work in a salon. So if that's something that you would want, you picture yourself wanting to do working in a salon, I definitely recommend getting your, your thing, or I definitely recommend getting your license. But the only thing is if you work in a salon just know that you are going to either be paying commission for your work or you're going to have to be paying a booth rent so with me before my booth rent was 175 for my booth rent and that is weekly it is not monthly um and i had to pay for my own 
all of my own stuff so if i wanted to do anything i had to pay for it all working in a salon but if you work from home if you're a home base you don't have to worry about paying booth rent and whatnot it actually saves you a lot of money okay so cons you guys cons of being licensed is the tuition just because it is a lot more it is a couple grand more than if you were just to go to someone and get kind of a little bit of schooling yeah. from them um keeping up with your license is another con that i had put but the reason being is because keeping up with your license i believe it is 60 dollars every three years to kind of up it up or keep it up to date and if you don't keep it up to date you will basically lose your license and it'll be kind of be pointless of you having it but um so yeah i always put it in my calendar on my phone make sure it notifies me a month before i had to pay it so then i could get everything ready all right you guys so that is basically it on if you should be licensed or not i honestly i am not against either um i feel like me personally i love that i am a licensed nail tech but i mean there's so many talented artists that they learn their craft and they taught they're basically self-taught a uh, nail artist and they are amazing you guys um so i mean it just depends on how much work you put into doing your business you know some people it comes more natural than others and some people it's a little bit harder but it is not possible if you guys seen the pictures from when i first first started to where i'm at now it continues to get better and better and better so definitely always work at your craft always kind of uh, what's the word like kind of examine your work and see what you are doing what you like about it what you don't like about it you know and always take notes on it that's something that i do i am a note taker as you can see right here i have all of my notes um but yeah so i I take notes and I'll always put write everything down even if I try a product I'm not even kidding you guys when I do reviews I write everything down I write the client I put it on when they came back what I thought about it should I use it again what the con the pros and cons about it I write a lot of stuff down you guys so I'm definitely a note taker but yeah you guys I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video um please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel one liking it does help boost my youtube out to the world so it kind of if this video helped you it will definitely help another nail tech or aspiring nail tech and then if you comment it just shows that you were super interested in my video and if you subscribe you'll be able to see so much more you guys and if you ever have any recommendations make sure to comment down below because i am here to help you guys that is the whole reason why i do my youtube is because i want to help you guys i know when i first started it was really really hard to find help and i was too shy so i felt like honestly youtube was kind of like my like my safety um my safe area my it was definitely like my safe zone so yeah you guys um you guys make sure to comment down below and let me know what you guys think so please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and as always i'll be back with more videos bye